segments is called as triangle. Simple closer figure. Bonded in line segments. It's called as triangle. These are the three line segments A, B, B, C, and C, A. Or three line segments. You are. So this is a triangle. We have different types of triangles. We have learned in previous chapter. Actual triangle, triangle, multi-sided triangle, right angle triangle. These are the types of angles of triangles. And uh, according to the angles of triangles, so according to the sides, we have equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and scalar triangle. So. We see the properties of triangles. We have some of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. We draw any one of the triangles. And measure each angle of the triangle. Angle A, and angle B, and angle C. We measure the three angles of this will be equal to Angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So we draw any kind of angle, it is an obtuse angle, or right angle, or acute angle triangle, any kind of triangle we have drawn, then all the angles if we measure, the sum of all the angles is equal to 180 degrees. Any equilateral triangle, if it is 60 degrees, each angle will be 60. And in little, because the three sides are equal, then the three angles will be equal. So angle A is 60, angle B is 60, and angle C is 60. Then 60 plus 60 plus 60, 180 degrees. Similarly, if you take any triangle and add all the three angles of triangle, will be equal to 180 degrees. So let's see the next concept: interior and exterior of a triangle. We draw a triangle PQR. The interior part of triangle, interior part of PQR. So PQR called as vertices of triangle. P is one of the vertex and Q is another vertex and R also another vertex. We have three vertices of triangle and this. So PQ and QR and PR are three sides of a triangle. Angles are angle P plus angle Q plus angle R. These are the six parts of a triangle, including the sides. We'll be getting nine parts. So in this, we see the interior part of this triangle is called interior of triangle, and outside of triangle, whatever the region is formed, this is the exterior of triangle. And the external line of QR, the line segment in QR is extended. The angle, some of the angle, exterior angle will be formed. And we take one of the name here. S angle PRS is an exterior angle of a triangle. So this is exterior part of triangle, which is outside of the triangle. We call the exterior of the triangle, exterior part of triangle. And inside the within the inside of the triangle, what is, what is the area we have? That is the interior of triangle. Let's go to the next concept: median of a triangle. So this is the big point of Q1. If Q1 
all these 10 centimeters, then this part, if you take it as O, then QO will be 5 centimeters and OR is also 5 centimeters. So then we call PO is called as median of a triangle, let us recall. We take any one of the vertex and draw it, midpoint, midpoint to opposite side. Let us recall. We draw, we take any vertex and draw a line segment to the midpoint of opposite side. We call it as median of a triangle. So PO is median of a triangle. So we can draw three medians of triangles. For a triangle, we can draw three medians. That is OP. From vertex Q, we can draw one more. And also from R. So this all the three are making at one point. That is called point of congress. So point of congress, three medians of a triangle, is called as centroid of a triangle. Centroid is denoted by G. So we have drawn three medians of a triangle. So point of congress of three medians of a triangle, G is called as centroid of a triangle. Centroid is G. So let's go to the next concept: altitude of a triangle.